We also got a little bit of a little bit of breaking news this afternoon. Kind of made me go, what, huh? OK, you remember that that story of the false accusation that Commissioner Joanne Hardesty was involved in a hit and run? Well, that whole story got even bigger and I, even worse, I guess, is a better way to put it. To be very clear, it wasn't her at all. She didn't hit and run anybody. This false information came from the initial police report, apparently leaked by someone at the Portland Police Bureau. Take this to today when Brian Hunsicker, the president of Portland's police union, resigned apparently in connection to that false accusation. The Portland Police Association Executive Board sent out kind of a vague statement. I'll, I'll read a part of it to you right now. They said, over the last 24 hours, we learned that Portland Police Association President Brian Hunsaker made a serious, isolated mistake related to the Police Bureau's investigation into the alleged hit and run by Commissioner Hardesty. We apologize to Commissioner Hardesty for that mistake and will be reaching out to meet with her personally. So the statement doesn't really have any specifics. It doesn't say exactly what that mistake was. We did reach out and try to get some clarification. We'll let you know what we find out. Meanwhile, Mayor Ted Wheeler also released a statement basically saying as police commissioner, he'd also like to know what that mistake was. And he has called now for an internal investigation. And again, we can't say this enough. Commissioner Hardesty was completely cleared. It was not her involved in a hit and run. And apparently she and her staff had no idea any of this was coming and learned about it when we did. And in a statement, she said, Mayor Wheeler and I agreed that the scope of the impending outside investigation into the Portland Police Bureau will not only get to the bottom of this specific politically motivated leak, but will also look into potential political and racial bias, as well as potential ties to white supremacists within the Portland Police Bureau. Now, PPB confirms that Hunsaker is still employed right now by the Police Bureau. He actually took over for the last PPA president, Daryl Turner, in November, who coincidentally will be the person who replaces Hunsaker. So Daryl Turner is back in the job, returning as the union's executive director.